Hello, hello, testing, testing. Okay, we should be live. Oh, man. Let's see, is everything working? OBS, can you capture my voice? Yes, you can. Cool. Will Games, hello. How do you see you there? Welcome to the stream. Hello, no Void. Goku gets UI early part 3-1. Um, I'm actually in the middle of writing that. Uh, just for this week, I was kind of tired from working on uh, videos, both uh, for myself and for Smug. So I wanted to take kind of a, a slower-paced time this week to kind of recover. Uh, so I think... I should be done with the script by the end of this week. And next week I'm going to be doing, let's see, it's the fourth. Next week I'm releasing Zamasu in High School Pilot Part 2. Finish off that pilot. If, it, if it's popular, make a series. If not, then that's the end of it. But after that... I don't want to hold off on UI Goku early for more than a month, so I think I'll release that in two weeks, or three, or uh, b before the end of the month. Because I, I have a lot of uh, ideas for how the Demon King physical arc will go. Killer Jose, welcome! Welcome to the stream. Will Game says, just watched with Bardock go over Goku on Smoke's channel. Oh, nice! Uh, I hope you liked the story. That was, oh man, uh, Bardock and Goku go to Earth together. That's, that's an older one. It's an older story. That's from about, what, over a year ago? I'm pretty sure that was like January of last year. Uh, fun fact, uh, we'm gonna, uh, uh, let you guys take a little peek behind the curtain behind the what if -ery. Um, I remember when I was re helping Smug co-write the very first part of Bardock on Earth with Goku. One of the original ideas we had that we ended up, um, scrapping is the idea that, um, during Grandpa Gohan and Bardock's journey around Earth, in the first part of that series, uh, we had written that they encountered the Red Ribbon Army, they encountered Nominus Village, so that Bardock can kind of mellow out and see more of the world and not be nearly as rageful or as um, vengeful. There was supposed to have been more detail when it came to the part where Bardock and Gohan have their huge argument and they split ways right because that's when bardock is like oh you old man you're trying to make me grow soft well i'm not gonna let you do that there was more dialogue right there was there was actual dialogue and it was supposed to have been a lot more dramatic with grandpa gohan trying to convince bardock that he shouldn't throw his uh life away for revenge that kind of stuff right but it's just the nature of things where Where's Elder Kai? It's not here. I'll go back. It's the, the nature of the business, you know, of writing these stories is that, like, you can make it longer and make it more impactful and stuff, but also you have to remember that, like, it takes a long time to make these stories, right? Um, there are deadlines to release videos. If videos longer, it'll take more time to release. So at the end of the day, we decided to kind of con uh, get rid of the entire, like, discussion between Grandpa Gohan and Bardock and make it just a shorter, like, a few sentence long, like, uh, wrap up, right? 
if I remember right, it, it pretty much just goes like, oh yeah, Bardock and Gohan had a fight, and then they split up. I think that was what we ended up going with. What if Goku was to plant Yard Rat? Uh, funny enough, um, I know Smug did that story years ago. He did that before the Moro arc, actually. So, yeah, it's one, I think it's one of his earlier videos, I think. But yeah, that story is really old. And I talked to Smug about it, how like it could be interesting to redo that story. Since, you know, it's been like two years since that review was released, and there's way more things we know about Yard Rat now. Um, I've written my own take about that in the Smugstick Community Discord server. Um, regarding you know, my take on the idea. If I remember right, it involves Goku uh, essentially ordering into transmission early and then when, he, when he's a kid so about 12 11 years old like he was in og dragon ball goku decides to explore like the the galaxy and just teleport to different places all because like he met jocko on yard rat early so he teleported to jocko who he recognized and then from there he goes on a big like space adventure essentially If you guys want to be involved in some more uh, what if discussions and analysis, then definitely join the Smug Squad Discord server. We have a lot of discussions, and we have a a, a lot of talks about different what if suggestions and um, premises. Uh, we game says story was really good. The writing was fantastic. Thank you. I'm glad you liked the story. Uh, the Bardock series... That Bardock series has, uh, really grown on me over time. Like in the beginning, I was like, oh yeah, sure, Bardock's cool, I'll do a, a, a series about him with Smug. But, like, the more time passes, the more I really appreciate how the, the approach we both went with. For making Bardock go from, like, being super duper rageful and, like, wanting revenge at all costs and then just kind of mellowing out, you know? It's really fulfilling, like, writing these kind of stories where you see the really big character growth. Speaking of growth, we are now superheroes! Dragon Ball Super Superhero is out early, boys, and the new hero is Michelle Jackson. Uh, can you catch me up on today's Dragon Ball? I have watched- I haven't watched Dragon Ball in years. I mean, what was the last thing you saw <laughs> from Dragon Ball? Is it the, you mean the anime or the manga? A lot's happened. Dragon Ball started when there was a little boy who got shot in the face by a girl with a, with a gun. And that's how all great modern stories uh, start, you know. I completely forgot that, like, during Xenoverse, they, they forced you to do these kind of, like, various missions between different, like, people. Come on, Great Sandman. Please, just go down. Uh... Her name's Great Sandman, too. Get it right. Do a break cannon. Uh, let's see. Killer Joe, Killer Jose says, "What happened to what if Goten and Trunks were born early?" Um, uh, I actually already have, I already have part three written out actually. Um, during the development of part one and two, I originally had written out the entire script for part two to be the entirety of the Buu saga, but it just got so long. That I decided, you know what, I don't want to cut anything from this particular, like, script. Because if I did, it would have been a disservice to Goten and Trunks' character development, right? So I decided instead to cut the story in half. 
So part two became the first half of the Boo Saga script. And the second half of the Boo Saga script is currently what's going to be part three. I have the script ready. It's now it's just a, a, um, an issue of scheduling. It's trying to figure out which time within, within the next few months to coordinate with Smug to make part three. Um, and I'll also discuss part four because we get to talk about what happens in the in Dragon Ball Super, right? So, actually, the question: Yes, uh, it, it should be coming out within the next few months. I can't give an actual date because I have to talk with Smug about a schedule to release it. But I do have the script ready. All, all, I, all, it's, all I'm waiting for is the um, the day where we can actually figure out, like, and sit down and talk about the release dates. So I can work on the video. I think the last time I watched Dragon Ball was the Broly movie. Well, I mean, after the Broly movie, there's, let's see, there's the Moro arc, which is, moral of the story, uh, don't, don't talk to strange goats in space. And then the Granola Sock, which is still going on, which is pretty much, um... Uh, Dragon Balls are bullshit. That's the moral of the Granola Saga. The Dragon Balls are bullshit. <laughs> uh, Wooga Boog Woogie Boogie Woogie. Hello, Sasuke Uchiha. Welcome to the stream. What if Gogeta was in the Boo arc? I mean... I, I feel like I, 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 my approach would be really similar to what happens in Smug's take on the idea, which is that the Patara, the Pataras end up not working out, so Goku and Vegeta are forced to use the, um, uh, the the fusion dance, and then Gogeta beats Boo, and and that's about it. Like that's the main change. Uh, Q -Q I hate QQ Bangs. Idea for Xenoverse 3. How about you not tie stats to clothing, period? I think it's like QQ Bangs are like a, a well addition for Xenoverse 2. Because in Xenoverse 1, the clothing you wore affect your stats like completely, right? I feel like it'd be just best if you just got rid of them completely. Like, you, you can keep QQ bangs, but remove uh, stats from clothing, like, altogether. It's ridiculous. It makes no sense. Uh, but yeah, to answer your question, Will, um, Moro's Hog is all about the little go who could. Oh, wait, whoops. Wrong place. The Moral Saga is all about the little goat that could, and the Granola Saga is about the Dragon Balls being nonsense. Greetings. Oh, and the Granola Saga is also an example of what happens if you don't talk to your kids about how they were adopted. That's the other main takeaway from the Granola Saga. Hey. Well, that's right, these are supposed to be like the, um... The Mur These are the Murasaki brothers, right? I'll, I'll work on that later. I just want to get to the missions. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I went to... Hercules House, Capsule Corp... Guru's House, there we go. I'm the third elders of the five Murasaki brothers. Wow. Aliens. Okay, bye. Alright, come on, Neil. Let me beat up some bad guys. Come on, let's let's hurry this up. Another thing for Xenoverse 3 I think they should do is I really think they should add more races. 
And for races specifically, I think they should add androids as its own category, and they should add Yardradians. I feel like th those would be some good additions. Oh, and Demon Race. And Demon Race. That'd be three good additions, I think. Come on, Zarbon. Let me beat you up so I can just grab those Dragon Balls. Cool. Uh, no, uh, Frieza, go away. Come on, Frieza. I don't, I don't have time for this. Uh... It's over. Ooh. Oh, oh, Frieza, get out of here. No one asked you. Frieza, no one has time for your nonsense. There we go. Frieza ain't shit in front of the true might of Michelle Jackson, you know? Neat. Alright, where was I? Right. Uh... Is it like... Well, oh, there it is. Cool beans. It's a Sonic fan. Welcome to the stream. Did I just get the game? No. Um. So I have. I've had this game since launch, since like what, 2015, 2016. It's just that like I, at the time, I didn't have time. Uh, I was in college. I was. I also had a job at the time, so I just focused on that instead of playing this game. I got as far. As beating Cooler and Frieza in the Namek arc. And after that, I, I put down the game. And then, many years later, when I was in university, getting my bachelor's degree, I had free time again. So I played this game up until, again, the end of the Frieza arc. And then I stopped. So hopefully, third time's a charm to actually beat this game and actually see the Android Saga. Let's see here. Nail. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Y yeah, okay, cool. Thanks for nothing. How are your guys' day going? Uh, let me know in the chat. I love to hear how y'all are doing. Um, my day's been okay. Uh, did a lot of errands. The stream was supposed to start like around 2 o'clock. But then I had a lot of errands to do, and then I forgot I had an appointment with the dentist. So that appointment took up most of my time today, but I'm here now, which is what matters. Hey, yo, Will Game, you're gonna graduate? Awesome, glad to hear that. Congratulations. Does Aaron remember Dragon Ball the Breakers? I mean,. Yes. I, 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 the thing is, I'd be more hyped for that game if they've, if they've given out any extra news about it. Like, ever since the beta came out, it's been silent, right? There hasn't been any major announcements. It's just been quietly the background. I can't believe I had to give a pool my juicy medium medicine. Uh, but yeah, um, it's it's weird because like you think for a, a a game like Dragon Ball the Breakers, which has like the Dragon Ball like name attached to it, it'd have more news coverage or fanfare. But after the beta, it's just been kind of silent. Which, as someone who studied game design, either that's a good thing or a bad thing, right? It means they're focused on development, 
And either it means they're working diligently or they don't have much to show off. It's like one of those two things. All right, come on, Frieza. Let me join. Let me join your uh, backup dancers. Shui Beats, hello. Nice to see you again. I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. It's time for a little examination. Sonic fan, killer, Will. Thank you guys so much for coming out today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming for your first time. Hope you all have fun. Uh, nipple hair says team with the pool. Listen, if if the devs behind Xenoverse Three have the the balls to include a pool as, as a master, he'd be my master day one. This is the same guy who's in charge of the medical medical chambers in the freezer ship. That means he's a pretty important person, right? He probably has a higher IQ than Jerome. Now that's the main plot twist for Super Dragon Ball Super Superhero. The real villain's a pool. He's the mastermind behind Cell. Don't ask me how I know this. I just do. Bop, but oh, come on, come on, Raspberry, sit down. I still find it funny that like. The reason why the moral arc of Super kicks off is because of a no-name Frieza soldier helping out Moro's escape, right? It's Raspberry from the from the Namek Saga. Like, if if Raspberry had stayed dead on Namek, like, the moral arc wouldn't have happened. Uh, Street Beats. Alright, thanks for stopping by, Street Beats. Have a good day. Excellent. I doubt there's much I can teach you. Cool. Energy Capsule, my favorite. What if Raspberry turned good? See, you're joking, Cyber Saber. Like, I, I know you're joking. But I think that could be a, a compelling story. Like, just some no-name Frieza grunt who got killed on Namek, gets revived, and decides, Shit, I don't, wa I don't want to be a criminal anymore. <laughs> Staying with the Frieza Force killed me. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Okay, what's next? Um, What if Frieza turned good? I thought about that for a while, but the thing is, like... I, I absolutely adore Masako's take on that story that I can't think I can do it better, you know? Or at least give it my own unique interpretation. I think Masako's version of that story is the best out there. My name is Arbon. Uh, hey guys, should we join Zarbon or should we join Dodoria? I feel like the Chaozu inside of Michelle would go for Zarbon because he's not scary like Dodor like um, the Doria. But I feel like the Super Boot part of him would go for the Doria because he's more overtly like scary. But Zarbon's also stronger. He's technically stronger than the Doria. You know what? I, I see a couple Zarbons in chat. All right, cool. Let's go with Zarbon. I welcome you with open arms. You're going to do great work for me and Lord Frieza. Uh, I'll do Zarbon, Senpai. I'll do whatever you ask. If you want me to lick your shoes? I'll do that too. There's nothing I won't do for you. For the longest time, I never really cared about... Zarbon, and then when I when I played, it was Budokai Tenkaichi three for the first time as a kid. Wait, no, no, it was um Budokai Tenkaichi two. 
in that game, there's a what if scenario where Zarbon rebels against the Frieza Force because he wants to use Dragon Balls to wish for eternal beauty. I think that story single handedly made me go from man, Bardock is or uh, Zarbon's a no name like grunt to man, Zarbon has character. I wish he did more things. Is that the what if or is that one turn good? No, it's the one where um he just rebels. Uh he pretty much like he betrays the Frieza Force and he teams up with I think it was Goku to fight first form Frieza. And then during the battle, um What happens? I know Zarbon dies. I think what happens is like the Purunka summoned to teleport Goku and friends off Namek Force explodes. But Zarbon and Frieza die. I think that's what happens. Don't quote me on that. Uh, funny enough, I was thinking about doing my own interpretation of that story of what if Zarbon rebelled. Or like, what if he had the idea for a while, right? But it wasn't until he learned about the existence of Dragon Ball specifically, and he learned about Vegeta rebelling, that he's like, oh, I'll use it to my own advantage. I'll have to think about that. I'll have to give it some more thought. What is it? Excellent work. You did all the side quests. Can I go now? Can I? Yes. All right, cool. Now we can do the actual missions. Um, if Zarbon got eternal beauty, could... <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Drew. <laughs> What if universe? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I, I'm see if Zarbon got eternal beauty, like he just defeats Cell in an opposing contest, right? He sedu he'd seduce Cell. He'd seduce Bobbity. He'd seduce Beerus. Golden Frieza. Hit Botaba Magetta. Hit um who else? He'd seduce Goku Black. Hit. No, I said hit. Uh, Jiren, Tapo, Universe 11, Universe 7, uni Universe 6, 9, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All of them. And then you have the end game, which is Zarbon's harem. And that's the true ending to that story, is that Zarbon marries everyone. The real question is, who would be Zarbon's number one? That's the real story. Mario fan 27 welcome to the stream Zabon, show me your power. Uh nipple hair says make what if Zarbo Mary Bulma can't <laughs> You know, I think it could be possible right like, like Zarbon just falls in love with Bulma and he's like I'm going to betray the Frieza for us because I met no one more beautiful than you and it turns into like a uh, the fucking plot of Shrek, where like Z it's like Zarbon's and Fiona's like character in that like he's hiding like a horrible monster <laughs> inside of him. He's like Bulma, don't look at me, I'm hideous. And she's just like, but Zarbon, <laughs> I don't care. I love you for who you are. Oh my god. Zarbon Black with the infinite harem plan. That sounds like another, like, what if reincarnation story that would be made. Kind of like, what if Yamcha was reincarnated, but like, what if you, random viewer at home, were Zarbon? It's me, your, <laughs> your buddy Chaosu! <laughs> I like the idea of Krillin going, Chaozu, what are you doing here? I thought you were dead. <laughs> I thought you died on Earth. <laughs> How are you here? <laughs> Chaozu, you came back for us.
What if I reincarnated as a pool Ramona Raspberry? I mean, if, if I was, like, Raspberry, I'd just be a normal human, right? Just kind of stronger and have a gun. Like, if I reincarnate as him with the knowledge I know and I'm on Namek when this happens, I pretty much immediately just wait until my chance is possible to desert the Frieza Force and help the, the Z Fighters, you know? Because I don't want to die. Okay, there we go. Yeah! yeah. Alright, Shoutsu, let's go! Oh yeah, my favorite part of Xenoverse was when Chouts when Zeno Chouts who defeated Zarbon Dizori. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Chouts, you're alive! And you gained a lot of weight! How? You really let yourself go. Speaking of Zarbon Black, I remember in the first Budokai game, um, Zarbon was in. <laughs> <laughs> the Doria's face was, was pretty funny, but um, yeah, wasn't it true that uh, in in Bu in Budokai One, Zarbon was in that game? And not only that, he had like a black tuxedo kind of outfit, right? Oh, there he is, Lord Slug. Man, this was such a waste. It's, this was such a waste, man. Lord Slug on Namek is such a cool idea. And all the universe does is... Lord Slug fights you. And that's it. Nothing else happens. <laughs> like, sure, he teams up with Turtleist, but what's the fucking point if all he's gonna do is get jobbed immediately? Uh, let's see... Did my OC absorb regular Chaozu or Emperor of... Oh, that's a good question. Was it regular Chaozu or Emperor Mifan Chaozu? According to the lore that I made up in my head, this is Super Buu absorbing Chaozu during the Buu Saga. So it, it kind of has to be a regular canon Chaozu, right? Alright, come on. Alright, come on. Why did he stand still? What's Goku and Vegeta's favorite position? That's a trick question because I don't think they tried all of them. So uh, until we have confirmation they know more than just one, I can't answer that question for you. I will say this, I don't think... I don't think Goku nor Vegeta wear socks. I will not elaborate. You have to interpret that as you will. Uh, <laughs> Cyber Samurai says, Jesus, what's with your mouth? Yeah, I know, it's weird. Like when... <laughs> when Michelle does like the, the ultimate attack, he kind of like... Hit, because he's so fat, he has no neck. But the game is like, no. The model has a neck. It's just hiding behind the rolls of, of fluff. Let's try it again. Yeah, I know. See, like... <laughs> he has no neck, but the game's like, actually, you do. It's just hiding. Alright, Kaioken... Uh, th th this is my gift I received from training in King Kai's world. Um, wh what if Zenkai's were also present in Dodoria? Question mark. Lord Slug on Namek would make for a fun one. Yeah, no, it would be. Like, imagine, like... E either instead of the Frieza Force, it's Slug coming back to invade his home world, or Frieza's on Namek, but all he finds on Namek is Slug and his warrior evil Namekians, right? That, th those two scenarios could be really fun. Who was that, anyway? 
But this game is just like, actually, no. Lord Slug appears like twice, and then he gets jobbed, and then he leaves. Even though he's in all the marketing. So, you know, shrug shoulders. What if Super Saiyan 4 was canon? Good work out there. Big Monkey versus Cat. It's a really cool backstory that we're never going to elaborate in this game ever again. Those two. Goku defeated them both in different histories. I'd say they're probably out seeking revenge. No. Supreme Kai time. No. You don't think. You don't think these guys are angry for being killed by Goku, do you? No. Never. That's a good point. Slug doesn't have demons under his employee. It's just, it's just miscellaneous, uh, it's miscellaneous aliens, right? <laughs> They're not actually demons. There must be some way we can stop them. Right. We have to think. But think, think, I think. I'm busy tending to my bird. You guys try and figure out how to solve space-time problems. Hey, will you eat? Yeah, I know. But I'm really busy, okay? I gotta watch the, the season finale of Attack on Titan. Doki Doki is going to lay an egg soon. So yeah, no, Cy Cyber Samurai, I agree. Like, the game flat out says demons. But I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be just aliens, right? Oh, oh I, I haven't... Granted, I haven't watched the Lord Slug movie in, like, 15 years. Oh, but I'm pretty sure they're just aliens. And if those were all actually, like, spawn of Lord Slug, then that... I have so many questions. What if Bardock and Gine survives? Um, it, if I were to give it my take... I would do that story. I would want to take it in a different direction than most people do, right? I would want to do it so that... I don't know. Maybe Bardock leaves with Kakarot somewhere. And Gine leaves with Raditz. And then they both have very fundamentally different lives. And then when, and then when they reunite... They're practically strangers, and they're enemies at first. I just want to do the, the basic thing of, oh, they both go to Earth. And because of that, Kakarot's really strong. So Dragon Ball is a breeze. I remember back in the day, uh, Smugstick released his own take on the idea. And it was like a, it was a bad ending, like in terms of... It was it was a bad end for the heroes, because it ends with what? It ends with air, all the main martial martial arts dying and Kami dying. Ba Bardock is Mafubad, Gine dies, and all that's left is the little baby Kakarot. Like, and th and that's how it ends. I. I as much as people don't like that story, I, I still enjoy it for the simple fact that it's it's just it's really different, and it's something other people wouldn't have thought of, right? To be honest, I was expecting a, a sequel to that story one day, like Kid Goku living on on Earth as a nomad, essentially, as like um. Or he's vilified by the public because his parents took over the Earth, right? And along the way, he ends up making friends that stick by him. Despite the fact that his parents were, you know, alien invaders. That could be a cool story, honestly. And it's Goku trying to prove that he's actually a good person. Hey, yo, what if universe? Did you edit that video? If you did, then I, I thought it was a good video. I, I, even the editing was pretty good. So if you did, then kudos to you. 
What if Broly and Goku went to Earth? Um, it, it depends, like, which which Goku is it. Oh, wait! Tien! I forgot! Tien! Uh, Vegeta, fuck off. My master Tien's supposed to teach me his ultimate move! Uh, I, yeah, that that's a problem for future me. Tien's calling out to me. All right, let's see here. Ayo, Tien. You're my disciple now. I'm not going to let you end up as a half-baked fighter. You're not... <laughs> as long as I'm your teacher, you're never going to be a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. Listen up. A martial artist has to dream big. Just like me, Ten Shinhan, the main character of Dragon Ball Z. Strong resolve will help you weather any training. You heard that, guys? Um, have a strong will, and you don't have to train. Yo, ooh, superior martial artist. I love that. Oh, I know you could equip these. Okay, uh, before before we do that, I, I wanna hold on. Uh, play data. Is it? There we go. Nickname. <laughs> I I'm Grandma. Where is it? It's um. It's got to be somewhere around here. I want to see people, Peacekeeper, was... Where is it? So we're superior martial artists. I gotta rep... I gotta use the nickname my master gave me. I'm not a Saiyan. I'm not a Mechian. I'm kind of, sort of, an Earthling. Oh, come on. Where is it? Come on. I know you're in there somewhere. Where the hell is this thing? <laughs> oh. I'm just stupid. Never mind. Although I, I did see... What is it? So as we are now, I think this isn't the, the final form for Michelle Jackson. I think we're more kind of like in our first form. There we go. Uh, first form... Oh, does it do that? Okay, never mind. Okay. That works. Uh, play... No, not play data. Customize, right? Yeah. Let's do boost attributes. Um. There we go. That works. Oh, let's see here. Um, what if Goku pouted a mobile suit? My guy, you're gonna have to be more specific there's so many like mech animes out there all i'm thinking of is is like bulma going get get <laughs> get in the robot goku um let's see what if goku went to another anime universe set of earth i remember a while back i had my own idea for Let's see. It was, what if Goku was in My Hero Academia? But it wasn't like Goku was born there or something. It was Goku from Dragon Ball Super found himself going to that world. And how he ends up, like, encountering, like, All Might and uh, Deku. And how he pretty much becomes, like, Deku's teacher, essentially. And to a smaller extent, he helps um, All Might 
go through a recovery process, right? To for his injuries against um all for one. And it essentially ends up with like we, we get a, a Deku that knows how to use key, which is busted. Tribing is really good in this game. Is it really? I, I tried it a while back and I thought it was kind of lame to be honest. I'll try it again and give another shot. Uh, in terms of like this game, I, I, don't, I think I've only ever played online, I think twice. <laughs> My father would never dance. Isn't that right, audience at home? Uh -huh. That's one heck of a technique. Saitama versus Goku, who wins? Uh, whoever the writer wants to win. But wasn't That's my official answer. The one who had his body switched out with Captain Ginyu's before? <sighs> What if King Pickle and Slug met? It would just be the same thing as that one Spider-Man meme where it's like yes, the two right. Spider-Men pointing their fingers at each other. It, it, it'd just be the exact, the exact same moment. You need at least okay timing to use. Once you get okay with it, it's really good because it has great knockback. Okay. The two of them to me. You guys concentrate on restoring history. All right, in that case, I'll, I'll try it out again. Oh, Raccoon. Oh, Birder, the, the, the father of Sonic. Okay, so here's a, a question I've always had, right? The Guinea Force. I love these. I love these guys, right? They're amazing grunt villains. But every single member of the Guinea Force has a gimmick, right? Like Raccoon's pretty hefty and strong. Birder's super fast. Goldo has time powers. Ginyu can switch bodies. What the hell is is Jace's thing? He he has no gimmick. He's just a guy, right? Like he, he just objectively strong but that's about it he has no gimmick he has attacks called like the red magma but they're just key blasts it would be really cool if like i don't know like jace had attacks that could actually melt things like fire attacks or something or he can make his skin become super hot but no he's just miscellaneous alien australian Bonk, 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 beep, bop, boop, bop. Hello? Nope. I'm... Raccoon, I'm so sorry I did you that dirty. I didn't mean to be that mean. Alright, Goldo, uh, you already know what happened to Goldo versus Chiaotu in the anime, so, uh, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to get your ass ate. Bonk. Wait, what? <laughs> Xenoverse 2, ladies and gentlemen. I, I mean... It I know he has the Crusher Ball, but is that all Jace is known for? Crushing balls? Like, there's got to be more to it than just that, right? Yeah, uh, Sulos, you're right. Jace is just miscellaneous extra muscle. That's it. Like, he, <laughs> he has no gimmick. Jace has great energy manipulation. All I've seen that man do is throw key balls... And then he kind of sort of combined his key attack with burners. And that's it. Again, it'd be kind of cool if, I don't know, Jace could, like, turn super hot like magma. Or, like, 
I don't know. Uh, he could spit hot magma at you, like an e like, a, like a lizard. Well, oh, there he goes. Oh no! Well, I'm gonna get demonetized now. That was an ass shot. Uh, have I stamina breaked? Uh, I'll be honest, I forgot stamina break was a thing in this game. There it is. Nope. I'm sorry, Jace. You're not gonna be able to play the game. I'm Jace. You're, you you're not gonna play the game anymore. I'm sorry. You you actually can't play the game. I unplugged your controller. My uh my little brother is now playing for me. Jace, I, I'm sorry. You're you're not allowed. You know, Jace. What did I tell you? You you can't press the square button. You're not allowed. Stay down. Just stand there. Just... I. Wh what did I say? What did I just say? You can't play the game. Did that work? That actually worked. Um, my made-up lore for her is she trained with all the masters and master every technique while she was... What are you talking about? Um... Oh! You're, you're OC. That's a, that's a pretty cool backstory. Someone's approaching me. Menacingly. Man, imagine if Turlis invaded Namek and he, like, planted the... The tree, the tree of might in the background, right? Captain Gin, you said we can't take candy from strangers. Why did they believe Turles? Oh no! <laughs> now Burner is. Yo, Goku! What the hell, Goku? No! Well, it's all up all up to Michelle Jackson now. Don't worry, Goku. I have the power of Chaozu and anime on my side. Turles must have planted the Tree of Might in the background. We just can't see it. Because the devs couldn't make it in time. All right, sorry, JC. You know why I said earlier you, you can't play the game. Yep, can't play the game. Yeah, no, like Cyber Samurai. Is, isn't it weird? Like, he he somehow has the fruit, right? But Namek's okay. Like, if 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 the devs had just I don't know, like shown um like a in the 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 background like for the sky. If they had shown a tree, that would have all it would have been all like I wanted, right? It would have been cool to see, but nope, we can't have that. <laughs> Captain. Oh, did you forget? Yeah, no, uh, Burner and Jace fucking killed Goku on Namek. It, um, it was part of Toriyama's, uh, original draft. But then Chaozu arrived and saved him. Bonk, ba, beep, bada, boop, bada, bonk.
Um, what what are some other ways Dammit could have been destroyed besides Frieza? What are some other ways? Um, what if oh oh what if Goku? What if Goku destroyed Namek, huh? He accidentally blows it up when he turns Super Saiyan. Um, what if... What if uh, Zarbon missed his mouth beam and accidentally destroyed Namek? What would happen if Captain Ginyu tried to use the body swap, but it hits the ground? Instead of the frog, what would happen? Would Captain Ginyu change places with like the planet itself, or would he change places with like the microbes in the dirt, or was there like a worm or something in the dirt that he saw bodies with? These are the real questions we have to ask ourselves. Um, Sonic fan. Well, has Toriyama ever confirmed or denied that Planet Namek was alive? Until we find out, I can say that maybe it was alive. Maybe. You don't know. The only one who knows is Toriyama. And he's in Japan. <laughs> what if Kui destroyed the planet flying Vegeta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, Kui's like, I can't beat Vegeta. Fuck it, I'll just destroy Namek. Everyone dies, and Freeze is like, Welp, I'm gonna have to fire Kui now. Alright, come on, Ginyu. Let's get this over with. Bonk, bonk. No Alright, come on, Ginyu. Aim for the ground. Aim for the ground. <laughs> Swap bodies with the planet Namek. Yes. Uh -huh. If Captain Ginyu swap bodies with Namek. Now. Does that mean Planet Namek will talk like Ginyu? Well, I mean, like, Frieza in his first form is going to be strong enough to not die from a, a attack from Kui, right? But would he survive the planet blowing up without knowing? That's a good question. I don't know. I feel like Frieza in his first form could survive a planet blowing up. I feel like he could. Alright. Sorry, Ginyu. You can't play the game. I, f I feel like that one that one guy who's like in a smash tournament at locals like playing against actual children in the qualifying rounds I like just not letting the other person play that's how I feel right now I, f I feel kind of bad Like, the other person wanted to play, like, Palutena or something. Or if it's Melee, they wanted to play, like, Zelda. And I'm the tryhard who's, like, trying to play Fox and Found Destination with no items. Turlis, Jesus Christ, come on, man. You can do better than that. <laughs> what if Ginyu dies and switch bodies with King Kai? That's that, that that's the real sauce right there. Finally, it's all back to normal. Damn it! This time. Perfect. 
Man, I really gotta finish writing that script for what if Captain Can You Save the Future. I have this script in development right now, and it's going pretty well. I'm really hyped to do that story. <laughs> Ginyu's in King Kai's body, and no one bothers to, like, change him back because Ginyu's nicer than King Kai was. Like, 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 like Bubbles and Gregory are like, oh, we know that's not actually King Kai, but he feeds us more than than, uh, <laughs> than King Kai did, and he treats us better. <laughs> So we're not going to tell anyone. <laughs> I like that. King Kai Ginyu is like a better person than King Kai was. I remember I saw I saw an image on Twitter. I don't know who it was, who it was from. But it was an image of Gregory and Bubbles. And it had, like, a bunch of numbers, and it's like, oh, Bubbles and Gregory during the Sand Saga both had power levels of, like, 5,000. And people were asking, like, what the fuck? Why, why are they stronger than Nappa? I'm just sitting here going, man, Dragon Ball fans re really do just not use critical thinking skills, do they? Although I would, I would be on board of uh, of Gregory and <laughs> Bubbles being stronger than like the Saiyans in the Saiyan Saga. That would be funny. Anime Abraham, welcome to the stream. Hello. <laughs> yeah, Goku doesn't notice, and because no one else has talked to King Kai, no one else can tell either. And Bubbles and Gregory ain't gonna say shit because they get fed more. Uh, what if Kid Buu succeeded in destroying heaven? Like, in the anime? I mean, like, that just kind of, uh, that ends up with what? Hell and the afterlife is destroyed. So, I guess the, all that really means is, like, you know, no one's able to die, right? So, everyone's immortal. Oh, hi, Cell. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, what do you got? Shopkeeper. Garbage. Don't talk to me. I think I'll go ahead and do the PQ missions, but first... Skill set. Um, I'll change out... Solar Flare isn't doing too hot, so I'm going to go ahead and... Yo, there it is! Stop your enemy with telekinesis! The classic Chaozu move! And this is going to be Tri-Beam. We'll try out Tri-Beam. There we go. Uh, Break Cannon. Um... Let's change that for something else. Vacation Delete or Neo Tribeam? Let's go with Neo Tribeam. We'll try it out. And then the uh, Vegeta's Technique TM. I, th I think that, I think that works fine. Uh, let's see here. What do you got for me? Nope. Here we go. The <laughs> Symbian Battlefront. Um, what if Gregory and Bulb became Z Fighters? Oh yeah, yeah. Like before Goku leaves to fight the Saiyans, King Kai goes, "Wait, Goku, bring Bubbles and Gregory with you." <laughs> but King Kai, no buts, Goku, bring them with you. Okay. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> Do they not have a, a, a battle line? Just grunt? Okay. 
Poor Jason Berger. I, I, I feel like King Kai's planet just came with 10 times gravity. I don't think that's... I don't think he did that on purpose. I feel like that's just how it was. Vegeta, stop monkeying around. Ah, shit. There we go. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Come on, Salmon. Come on, stand back up. Come on. There we go. That That's pretty good. Honestly, that's kind of good. I didn't like the fact that, like, it took so long to charge, but... Oh god damn it. But this monkey business? Monkey business. Alright, Tutoria, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna let you play the game. Bada bing bada bop. Bonk bonk and boop. Um, okay. I feel like because I, okay, this is this is my personal crack theory, but I feel like Bubbles and Gregory probably know the Kaioken. I'll take it a step further. I feel like Bubbles might know the Spirit Bomb. Because he's pure heart, because he's just a regular monkey, right? He's not as sentient as Gregory is. I feel like he could. He, I feel like he might know the spirit bomb. In which case, Nap was probably fucked. You know, he has no shot. All right, Neo try beam time. Shit. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I didn't get it in time. Alright, Vegeta's technique. Vegeta's own technique, and it did dog shit. Was it even that good? Oh, hello? Oh, hey, 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 Vegeta, calm down, calm down. Okay, so it's based off, like, stamina. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh, yeah, uh, I know about the stamina break. It's just, like, I get there so slow. <laughs> uh, let's try this again. Let's go. Come on, there we go. It's cause like he's so small that like <laughs> the, the grab has a really short range. No, could you imagine like Goku gets he poses to fight Vegeta and there's also bubbles imitating the exact same battle stance? And then Vegeta's like, What's with this stupid monkey? And then uh, Goku's like like, be careful, Vegeta. This isn't any monkey. He's my senpai. You're what? <laughs> and then he goes Kai. <laughs> he just goes fucking Kaioken and hits Vegeta in the face. There we go. Oh, 
Shit. Oh, come on, Vegeta, please die. Whoa! Before the 10 minute mark. Did I. Yeah, there we go. I did the. <laughs> It'd be funny if, like, um. What is it? Uh, at the moment where, like, Vegeta goes great ape. Oh, uh, we end up seeing, uh. Goku go. Gregory! <laughs> or, uh, uh, he goes, uh, Bubbles, can you do that? And Bubbles is like, Rrr. just shrugged his shoulders. Bonk, bada bing, bada bop. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mint. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Zamasu was the Donald Kai of Universe 10. Yes, he was. What if King Kai was evil? I mean, if that was the case, he probably wouldn't help Goku, right? He would just- he would probably help Vegeta and Nappa. If anything. Either that, or he molds Goku to be evil. Like, he lets him be his apprentice, but, like, with the cost that he has to be, like... Like, I don't know, like, his vessel in the mortal world, maybe? Hey, yo, Turtleish, where are you going? Oh, is that it? Okay. Uh, thanks, Jace. Hey, yo, Sonic fan, that's a lot. What are you writing there? Is it about Vegeta versus Goku? Uh, Garuko. Welcome to the stream. Uh, King Kai definitely has gravity ma manipulation. Okay. Uh, I mean, like... Is it really gravity manipulation or just the fact that he can create life in a planet? Because that, that, that's what Supreme Kai can do, right? He can create life. I'd imagine, like, the King Kai can do that to a lesser extent, right? So it's less gravity manipulation and more like he just made a planet. And the planet was so dense that it, it created its own gravity. I feel like that makes the most sense. Uh, Lectro, welcome to the stream. Who's the Dragon Ball character I hate the most? Like, in the like in main Dragon Ball? Like, in the main canon? Or, like, GT? Because I have, like, my least favorite characters. Off the top of my head... I feel like the only character that I really don't like is future Roshi. Because Roshi in the future timeline was a coward who ran away instead of helping train Trunks or Gohan and let, let them suffer for like decades, right? I think he sucks. Oh, uh, let's do... There we go. But in terms of like... A, let's see. Uh, how about this? To answer your question, I'll go through each saga, right? I'll go through like each main part of Dragon Ball. So Dra OG Dragon Ball, then Dragon Ball Z, GT, and Super. Um, in Dragon Ball, in OG Dragon Ball, the character I hate the most. I don't really hate any character in OG Dragon Ball. Like, there are moments where I, I don't like what characters do. I, I I think everything involving Master Roshi and his perviness in OG Dragon Ball aged really poorly. So looking back, I just can't help but like cringe at like the, you know, the the, the really <laughs> grossly aged uh, sexual humor. Do I hate him? No. 
I don't hate Pilaf either, cause I think he, I think his gang is funny for the most part. They're fine. Uh, the villains. Well, you're supposed to hate the villains, cause they're the villains, right? So Red Urban Army, Tao. But I don't really hate them as a character. Um. I guess in terms of it, it, how about this? Instead of hate, the character I'm most disappointed in, conceptually, is Master Shen, because Master Shen shows up for one arc. He has like this backstory, right, with Master Roshi, and he's built up to be such an incredible master. But he gets murked in a single attack. Is a, a stereotypical, like, mustache trolling villain. And he never shows up again. Despite the fact he has such an integral connection to Master Roshi and Turtle School, right? Um, I'll say this The Demon King Piccolo Saga, I think, is one of the most divisive arcs. Because the writing in that arc is really jumbled and all over the place, right? Like, for example, the reason why King Piccolo is released is because Pilaf found him off-panel. He just randomly finds him with no explanation. Wouldn't it have made more sense if, oh, I don't know, if there was already a character who was selfish, greedy, evil, and had not only a grudge against the Turtle School, but also knew of the existence of Demon King Piccolo and knew where the Mothma is? It makes zero sense to me from a writer standpoint why Toriyama chose Pilaf to be the one who, capped, who released Piccolo when it should have been Shen. Master Shen should have been the one to release Demon King Piccolo. Because he personally knew how powerful he was. But he was so humiliated by Roshi and seeing Tien join the good side. That could have been the catalyst where he goes, you know what? Fuck the earth. I'm going to open up the, the Demon King and bring ruin because I don't care anymore. Does that, does that sound more compelling? Than just the Pilaf gang finding him for no reason. So yeah, I, I'll, I'll go with that. Master Shen is my is my choice for most disappointing Dragon Ball character. In Dragon Ball Z, do I hate anyone in Dragon Ball Z? Um. Uh, again, like, it's hard to say because, like, the characters you hate in Dragon Ball Z are the villains. But the thing is, you're supposed to hate them. So, Frieza, Saiyan Saga, Vegeta, Cell, Boo, you're supposed to hate them, right? W was Shen in the 24th tournament? I don't remember. I know, I know Sabor Tal was for sure. Was Shen there? I don't remember. Are you sure that's not like Dragon Ball filler? Because I'm pretty sure Shen doesn't show up in the 23rd tournament manga. Uh, let's see. I, I feel like in terms of disappointment, the character I'm the most disappointed in in the in Dragon Ball Z in the days, we'll is few is it's a three-way tie Why, this is going to be controversial I know it will the three characters that I think are the most disappointing in all of Dragon Ball Z it's Goten Trunks and Future Trunks they're the most disappointing The explanation is that obviously Gota and Trunks barely did anything in in uh in the Boo Saga, right? They have a really strong introduction 
they immediately get put on the side the moment the Boo Saga stuff happens. They come back for the, the fusion dance, right? For that training. In the, in the anime, they in the filler, they have a lot of character moments in the time chamber. But in the manga, all they do is they train in the time, the time chamber off panel. They fuse into Gotenks. And they fail against Boo. Then they're put on the sidelines again. And then they die. Like, they're supposed to be part of the next generation. And the Boo Saga is all about the next generation and failing horribly. This is Super Saiyan Rose so so that, I, that, I'm just disappointed in those two. For future Trunks, he has such a strong Im first impression, right? He shows up from out of nowhere as a mystery character. He turns Super Saiyan and kills Mecha Frieza. Like, the strongest bad guy in the series up to that point, right? Super strong introduction. When he comes back for the rest of the Android Saga, he's fodder. He does nothing to the story. He comes back, gets beat by the androids, trains with Vegeta, gets murked by Cell. And then the Cell games, all he does is get killed by Cell. By his perfect Cell. A guy that was billed as being like... The, the second Super Saiyan in the series. And he's immediately jobbed in the next major arc. Or in the, in the same arc he's introduced. Sure, Trunks saves his future timeline. But, like, in the Android Saga, he, he practically did almost nothing. Besides him being the MacGuffin that, you know, saves Goku with heart medicine with the, the whole, you know, the... The warning for the future. But like, Future Trunks didn't really do anything in this in the Android saga. It's just disappointing, because he had such a strong uh first impression. And then he just gets jobbed and put on the sidelines for Goku. Uh um Oh wait, shit, yeah, it's Dragon Balls, whoops. Okay, cool. And then this one's... Oh, man, these... These Dragon Ball missions are really tedious, huh? What if Future Trunks saved the past? Which past? Which one? That's very... It's very important. I remember... I have... Let's see. I have various interpretations of that idea. I have one idea where Future Trunks saves the past where Demon King Piccolo killed Mutaito. I have that idea. Um, another one is that Future Trunks time travels back in time to when um, when Goku first, fight, first fights Vegeta. That's another one. Uh, Lecture asked, didn't he already do that? No, I haven't done that. Smug did that story involving Future Trunks going back in time and uh, essentially training Goku. He did that story with Salad Sand, not with me. What would be my interpretation of that story? Like, of like him training Kid Goku. Hmm. I don't know. I have to think about it. Because, like, if I were to do that story, I would have to keep in mind that, like, a bunch of other people have already done that story. And I would, I'd have to make it more than just he trains Kid Goku and finds Vegeta early. Like, there's, got, there's gotta be other other ways to change it, right? Like, maybe Kid Goku, he uh, ends up training with a sword early. Maybe. A funny idea I had could be that, like, um, 
Trunks inadvertently causes uh, Goku to be his father. In the sense that he, he ends up marrying uh, Bulma. And then Trunks is like, shit! <laughs> I really messed up! <laughs> I've changed the timeline <laughs> too much. What if future Bulma back in time instead of Trunks? I mean, if that was the case, I feel like Bulma would flat out tell the past Z Fighters what the androids look like. Because Trunks didn't tell them. I feel like Bulma would have. She'd be like, yeah, no, they, there are these two teenagers. And they were built by a guy called Jero. Here's his lab. You should go find him. And sure, they, they, the fighters would all say no. Why well, I think's interesting, that could be a, a good way for that story to be different and be unique, is that when Vegeta and Goku tell future Bulma, hey, let's not try and hunt down Jiro, we want to fight the androids, Bulma's like, no, I'm going to find them. Vegeta, if you want, you can kill me, but I'm going to stop Jiro before he does his thing, right? Wow, really something. Well so that could be that could be a cool story, like, like a renegade future Bulma who's trying to stop Jiro before he makes the androids. And Vegeta's like, no, don't do that. That's my pride. I want to beat them. And she's like, no. That could be interesting. <laughs> what if Master Shen came back for revenge? I, I feel like I, I already did that kind of interpretation, but in the Khalifa sister Goku story, right? That I did with Smug. Uh, the, the whole idea that, like, Cyborg Tao is rebuilt as an android by Jiro, and then he approaches Ta um, his brother to help join him for revenge. Like, if that would happen in, like, a separate video, like, what if Shen returned? I'd probably do the same angle, where, like, Tao recruits him to be an, like, a cyborg, and they both fight the heroes, right? I feel like that's, like, the, the best way for to go. Um, let's see... Um Let's do Ginyu and Baby. Two body swappers, that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Like Future Bone wouldn't take any shit, right? She just she'd go after the androids, despite the protests of the heroes, because she just doesn't want to take the chance of, you know, of the androids being built anyways. Like, even if she's threatened by Vegeta, like, she's still gonna try and stop them regardless. So it's, it's kind of essentially like a race against time, where Bulma's hiding from Vegeta specifically, and she's trying to find the androids while he's on her tail. That makes sense, right? Alright, Naval. Get, get closer. No, okay. He got away. Holy shit. <laughs> that did a lot. Uh... Yeah, no, exactly. Like, I feel like future Bulma would be so... She would be so, like... I want to say confident. She'd be so dead set on her convictions that Goku would be like, all right, fine, if you say so, Bulma. I'm disappointed, but if you say so. And the only one who says flat out, no, I'll kill you, is Vegeta. Because early Andrew Saga Vegeta is a complete asshole. Who's only being nice because he has a place to stay. I just realized I haven't 
I haven't used my ability yet to stun people. Hey, a pool. A pool. Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Get back here. You need a, you have to be stopped to pool. Get back here. Hey, yo, get you. Can you chill for like a couple seconds, please? I, I guess he can chill. All right, cool. Uh. Bud P, welcome to the stream. How late are you? Uh, we got like another like half an hour left. You're not too far behind. Okay. Is this how we're playing this? Neo Tribeam is pretty good, uh, uh, but, like, if I were to ever use this move in, like, PvP, i just get clowned on, right? From my understanding, PvP in Dinoverse 2, the most important thing is stamina. Because that's how you're able to, like, do the uh, after images. So using this move is, like, a horrible idea. <laughs> What if Baby replaced Cell? That could be cool. Like, instead, like, Jero is like, he's somehow already possessed by Baby. And he, or like, he's trying to revive or fix Baby or something. That could be cool. I dig that. You know, Lextro? I, I fuck with the idea. That's pretty good. I'll have to give that some more thought. Because, like, could you picture, like... Could you picture, like, you know, baby... Like, like an alternate future baby coming back in time? And the person who ends up saving the, the past... Is, like, future... Trunks? Oh, uh, let's see. Cyber Samurai says... Uh, you know, try to a troll move in PvP for characters put around it. You stun lock people with it, you can build a full stamina character and have them use the try to for so long in front. <laughs> okay, you know, that sounds kind of funny. I like that. That is funny. Oh, raspberry, I'm so sorry. That, you do not deserve that. Sorry, Dory, you, you have to die. Like, right now. You have to die, like, right now. <laughs> Damn it. I, I, I think uh, I failed the mission. Oh, well. Uh... Who's missing? Oh shit, there he is. Sarbon! I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have to do this to you. I have to put you down. Oh, I got it? Huh, interesting. I thought I failed that. From my understanding, most of these missions, like, they, to get the secret ones, you have to essentially, like, defeat it in under 10 minutes, right? That's how it usually works. Uh, gotta go. Go read a book. All right. Bye, Abraham. Thank you so much for joining the stream. Ah, uh, this is what we're dealing with. Okay. All right.
180,000. That's such a big number. But is it bigger than Chao Tzu? <laughs> but I'm the fastest. Oh, that's that's a what if I could do? What if Bird really was the fastest in the universe? What if he was? These are the what ifs the people want to hear. Bonk, bonk, and bonk. Oh, uh, what if Captain Ginyu took Frieza's body? Uh, no, that... I feel like that would have to be a story where the, the Ginyu Force just flat out rebel, you know? Like, maybe, um... When Captain Ginyu's trying to, to fight Goku, Frieza shows up early after fighting Nail. And he gets so mad that Ginyu's taking so long that he just flat out tries to kill him. Or maybe get, uh, he kills, like, Jace or something, right? And Ginyu's like, oh no, Frieza's gonna kill me. The only way to survive is if I work with these, uh, Earthlings. What if Burger had Ultra Instinct? He's too strong. Burger would use Mock Kick on Goku and Jiren, and he win. Well, no, Dispo isn't faster because Dispo isn't blue. Birder is blue, therefore he's faster. That's how it works. Why else do you think Sonic is so fast? That's just the truth of the matter. If you're blue, you're automatically faster. And if you're wearing sneakers, even better. Do you think Dispo wears sneakers? I don't think so. Birder wears sneakers. Huh. We're missing mission. Ginyu and the fruit. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, is the power pull combo really that good? I'll have to try it out sometime. Uh, let's go with... Jiren and Goku. Imagine if Gohan beat Dispo by giving him a math problem. Like, as he's trying to run, Gohan's like, What's, what's 10 times 5? And Dispo just stops. <laughs> he tries to count his fingers. Uh, one, uh, two, three. And that's how Gohan rings him out. Bonk and bonk. Uh, <laughs> my crusher ball. Yo, what if Birder had appropriate drip and had a, a Supreme Jacket and Air Jordans? He'd be too strong. Charo, you're, you're just, you're just, you're trying to apply a different level of power scaling that's not in Dragon Ball. Like, I personally cannot fathom the amount of power having Air Jordans and Supreme Jackets will cost to the fighters of Dragon Ball Z. I don't think anyone can. <laughs> How do you find the equation for Ego that Yo, bro. Reading that question made me stop playing for a moment. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel like that would actually make Dispo stop for a moment. Come on, Jace. I just want to duck in the schnoz. Oh, wait. Hold on. If I kill them, do they just come back? Wait, 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 wait. 
Do they just come back? Are they just gonna come back? Hello? Ayo, Galdo. Ayo, Galdo. Eh, stop! Oh, come on. Bomb and bomb. Oh no! Ayo, that was my kill! <laughs> Screw off, Jiren. Okay. Okay, so they, they only come back like once. Let's see. What's another... Oh, hello. Thank you for the key. What if Goku could copy any technique he just saw? I mean, that was like that was like the gimmick for early Dragon Ball, right? He just sees something and. Like, could you imagine like Goku learning how to do like the full power state that Roshi could, or the Electric Shock Surprise, or the Mafuba, or the Shri Beam? Bop, 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 bonk. Jesus Christ, that's, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's bad. I take that back. The, the tri beam's pretty good. Tri beam, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Jesus Christ. What if Goku was actually in Journey to the West? I mean, would he be a literal, like, Monkey King? Would he be just be Wukong? Because, like... What you just what you just said already exists. It's it's that one shot that Toriyama wrote back in, like, 1985, right? Or, uh, in 1984. It's, monkey, it's, it's called Monkey Boy, right? It was like a one shot that's literally just during to the West. There you can enjoy explosive figure battles using the state of the art battle simulator. There are so many PQs. There's so many PQs. Rose Black coming out is one of the best ultimates. Nice. Uh you know what? Um I'm not gonna be I don't wanna be Michelle Jackson right now. Oh wait, unless wait, is this the last mission? You know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll join the Ginyu Force. I'll join the Ginyu Force. You uh, Zarbon. Goryeo. Ready for some fun? What if Invincible's in Dragon Ball? Like, the concept of invincibility? Or do you mean, like, the, the franchise of Invincible from Image Comics? Whatever. Um, in the Smugstick Discord server, I've written both of those things. I've written... A, a concept for what if Veltrumites were in Dragon Ball? And in reverse, I also wrote what if Sans were in Invincible? And both of them have drastically different stories. <laughs> like, a lot. Um, in the Invincible comics, there's a character... I don't remember his name, but he's supposed to be a member of, like, the, the premier superhero team. Uh, what are they called? Like... Not the team team, but, like, the, the Justice League, uh, the not Justice League team. What are they called? The ones that work for Cecil? I ended up writing that, like, one of the superheroes of the world... Um, I think his name is supposed to be, like, um, Instant Tiger? Or Wild Tiger? Like, he's, like, an, a, a martial arts assassin from China. Uh, I wrote that, um, Goku lands in China in the Invincible Earth. And he's raised 
in the, a facility by the Chinese government. And they hire best. This is this, that's the thing. Best Tiger. Uh, the Chinese government hires Best Tiger to train Goku in martial arts to be a weapon. Uh, but then uh, Best Tiger ends up getting really close to Goku, so he decides to help him break out of the facility. And that was my origin story for Goku in that premise, and why he knows martial arts. The problem with doing an Invincible story is that most people don't know the comics. They, they're going off the TV show, and the TV show isn't really that far ahead. Like, what, the TV show's first season is, like, the first 20 issues of the comic? And the comic is, like, what, 180 issues? What about Veltrumites and Dragon Ball? Oh, yeah, so for that one... I, I essentially had it written that the Veltrumites, they were buffed up a bit, so they're kind of close to the same level as Saiyans are in terms of power, but the big difference is that they don't have transformations, so they can't increase their power exponentially through a transformation, but they're able to fly through space and they can, you know, they have the same powers as Veltrumites in the main story do, right? And it'd be a thing where, like, when Goku's, like, you know, a kid on Earth and going as a bunch of the Dragon Balls, right? Um, uh, Nolan is all... I'll be man. He's already on Earth being a hero. It pretty much ends up with, like, the 23rd tournament being, like, a really major event because that's the same time where uh, Nolan flat out tries to conquer Earth and he gets he gets to fight Goku and uh, his son. Hi, AIF. Welcome to the stream. What if Superman was in Dragon Ball? Oh, really something. Well done. I mean, it, it, if Kryptonians are as busted as they are in the actual comics, like, Kryptonians would... They, they'd wipe most beings in Dragon Ball, right? Because Super, Superman is just ridiculously OP. Is there more missions? Oh my god, there's more missions. <laughs> there's so many Ginyu Force missions. Hello? There's so many missions. There's so many missions. And a lot of these are just rinse and repeat like, hey, fight the Ginyu Force. Next mission. Fight the Ginyu Force. Next mission. Fight the Ginyu Force and Turtleus. Like, the only one I have, I've enjoyed so far was, was the one where Turles gave Vegeta from the Saiyan Saga the, the, fruit of, the Tree of Might Fruit. That was interesting. But there's so many filler missions, and it's so bad. Uh, sure, Kefla, why not? I wonder if Kefla has dialogue with Galdo. Uh, uh, write your comments in the chat if you think Galdo has any lines with Kefla. <laughs> write your predictions now. <laughs> what is the next What If video? Um, for this week I'm taking a little break and just streaming. Because the last video I took out on Sunday, or on Monday, that took a long time to make. So I'm relaxing this week. And then next week, I'm going to do What If Zombies Was in High School uh, Part, or Pilot Part 2. Um, if, the po if the second part of the pilot does well, I'll make it a full-on series. And if not, then I'll just end it there. And then the week after... 
I think I'll do Ultra Instinct Early Part 3. So I, I have a, a pretty good idea on how to do the Demon Piccolo stuff. I know a lot of people want... In the comments section of the videos that I released so far, people have been saying... Besides just they want more Ultra Instinct Goku early, they've also been saying they, uh, they're they predicting that he'll turn Ultra Instinct in the Piccolo Saga, or the Demon Key Piccolo Saga, which all I'll say is, that's a very interesting idea. And I hope that when you guys see Part 3, you will not be disappointed because I, I want I, I really want to showcase like uh Goku's inner turmoil for se for seeing someone he cared about die for the first time in front of his face right and how it affects his soul uh cuz he's really angry in the Demon King Piccolo saga like he he wanted he wanted blood he wanted to kill like these demons which was fine in OG Dragon Ball because, you know, there was no Ultra Instinct. But in here, where, like, your emotions and your soul affects your, your battle style, there's going to be repercussions for that, for sure. Okay, Genyu, if you say so. Bonk. I just realized Kefla had no dialogue with Goldo. What the hell? Xenoverse no devs. What the hell? All right, can you? Bye bye. <laughs> How do this be? Beat, bop, and bump. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Uh, do we fight Frieza? Or do we just fight them all at once? What if Lantern Corpse were in Dragon Ball? Like, all of them or just the green ones? Oh, it is Frieza! Oh shit! Oh shit! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Okay. I... I didn't want to get murked by Frieza that fast. Bop, bop, bop. Sorry, Frieza, you can't play the game. You're not allowed to play the game. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Bing, boop. Getting decked right in the schnoz. Ugh. I remember as a kid, um, when I was playing the old um some of the og uh, dragon ball games and also when i was watching the the og funimation dub for dragon ball z i remember i i always thought frieza was a woman because the the, the voice actress who played frieza back in the, the early 2000s I, I she had a very high androgynous voice for frieza so i, I just didn't know and it wasn't until like i was like 10 or I, I I read a book. It was a, it was a sticker booklet for Dragon Ball, and in the booklet it flat out says that Frieza's um uh, a male. I was like, wait, really? Huh? Wow, who'd have thunk? Her name was Linda Young, right? 
How old am I? I'm 26. Uh, I come from an era where I watched the OG Funimation dub of Dragon Ball. And it took me... God, I, I want to say that, like, the early 2000s as a Dragon Ball fan was a goddamn, like, nightmare as a kid because they, in, in, in Toonami, they would only show the Dragon Ball saga from, like, the Saiyan saga, and then once it hit the beginning of the Buu saga, so, like, when Majima Jia dies, it would stop. And they replay the entire series again, week by week. It, it took forever for the rest of the Boo Saga to be shown in the United States. It took ages. Is Smug Stick my brother? No, I'm not a stick. I'm a chimp. Chimps and sticks are two fundamentally very different beings. Ginyu, how are you not getting hit by this? Hello? Why is, <laughs> why is Ginyu harder to put down than Frieza? Hello? Say in motion, I'm sorry to tell you, but I am not, I am not a, a child. I'm so sorry. I doubt there's much I can teach you. This may come in a shock, but I am a grown man. Uh, chimp, you got a Discord server? Uh, no, I don't. Um, I am very active in the Smugstick server. But at the moment, I don't have one of my own. Ah, oh, finally! God, these PQ missions take forever. Jesus Christ. Let's see. I have that. I have that. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright, cool beans. I should play Dragon Ball Legends. Uh, sorry, mate. Uh, from my understanding, PvP in Dragon Ball Legends is a goddamn nightmare. I'll just stick to Dokkan Battle, thank you very much. Earth building Galaga is broken. All right, you know what? I'll, I'll do that. I feel like this attack in particular isn't doing too much, so I think I'll do Earth Splitting. Is it not here? Or is it like a, a beam attack? Is it a beam? Is it a beam attack? There it is. Well, uh, yeah. You know what? I'll do that. For later. And then this one... I'll, I'll use Spirit Ball, right? Why not? No, that's not it. I'll, I'll boost... Uh, yeah, that, that's the sauce. Okay. I think for now, that's going to be it for today's stream. We got a lot of shit done today. Yeah, no, we did a lot today. I think that I'll stop for now. Uh, I'll probably be back tomorrow to stream. And finish the Frieza stuff. And I'll continue from there. Ugh. Spirit Ball is kind of like Neo Tribe being except key instead of stamina. Okay, that makes sense. I'll try it out. Cool beans. The same motion. Uh, yeah, go for it. Stream. It's a lot of fun. Oh, uh, you probably have to get a PC though. Either either get a PC that can run Xenoverse, or you'll have to like get a capture card for your console. Uh, but yeah, um, on that note, 
thank you guys for stopping by. I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. We talked a lot today. We discovered some new things about each other and about what if stories. So I'll see you all another time. Bye everyone. Thank you very, very kindly. Bye-bye.